the Northeast once again waking up to heavy wet snow from the fourth nor'easter in three three weeks. How long will this storm last? As the investigation continues in the Miami Bridge collapse, what FDOT officials are doing to ensure the safety of local bridges right here on the Sun Coast, we're telling you straight ahead. And new video this morning of that deadly bridge collapse. What investigators are focusing on now? Good Morning Sun Coast starts right now. You are watching Good Morning Sun Coast at 6. Morning, early risers. It is Thursday, March the 22nd. Glad you're with us already. I'm Ray Collins. I'm Stephanie Webb. Thanks for waking up and joining us this morning on this Thursday Eve, little, mm -hmm. or no, Friday Eve, little Friday. All the words it. that uh, John Scalzi over there yeah. uses to describe the day before the weekend officially starts. Yeah, hey, John, yesterday was kind of a, a windy, blustery day, wasn't it? Oh, it sure was. Yeah, yeah I was walking the bridge at around uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and it was hard to stand up straight. It yeah. was, and yeah. still <laughs> high wind warnings on the Skyway Bridge. Yeah, yeah, and I think those winds will be uh, kind of elevated for the first half of the day, and the second half of the day, they'll, they'll probably try to trend down just a little bit. So, small craft advisory still up. Rip currents is still an issue across the area. Just be careful out there, especially along the coast. Line. We're looking at uh, temperatures that are generally speaking in the 50s most everywhere. We've got some 40s on the boards as well. Al in Northport reports a 47 degree temperature at his location. Cooper in central Sarasota, 55. We've got 55 in Sarasota, 57 in Venice, 58 in Inglewood, 52 in Bradenton. Inland temperatures running around uh, 8 to 10 degrees cooler than that. Uh, not much in the way of any kind of cloud cover or rainfall across the region. Titan radar showing clear skies there in the day. Daily Planner calls for lots of blue and sunshine as well. Daytime highs topping out a few degrees cooler than yesterday. If you one of those early commuters heading out the door now in about a minute and a half, if you look off to the southeast skies at about 60 degrees up, you'll be able to see the uh, International Space Station pass by. Back to you guys. All right, good. Thank you, John. Talk to you soon. Checking first alert traffic now. Usual delay there at State Road 70 around 301, otherwise pretty clear in Manatee County. Checking farther south in the maps in the upper half of Sarasota County. Not much to report so far. A little blip there at uh, University and uh, 75. That should pass before long. And farther south, we'll check that map and see that earlier ish issue in Northport has since cleared up. All clear at 602. And it is technically spring across the country, but for millions waking up in the northeast this morning, it is still pretty much looking like the dead of winter out there. Heavy snow is still blanketing parts of the east coast, causing so many flight delays, school closures, and traffic accidents in so many states this morning. Power crews and plow trucks are working overtime to get the power back up and running and clear off those roads. Oh, and check this out. Look at this amazing view of that nor'easter from oh. space. NASA spotted the storm as it began its approach. Look how huge this thing is. You can see it here hitting the Mid-Atlantic and the New England areas as well. That is one powerful storm. 603 right now. New this morning for the first time we're seeing new video of that pedestrian bridge collapse last week in Miami that killed six people. This is hard to watch. Investigators are looking into cracks found just days before the bridge came down last week. Also this morning, investigators confirmed that workers were adjusting tension on two rods on the north end of the span when it failed and collapsed. As you just saw, the construction of the bridge was behind schedule and millions over budget, in part because of a key change in the design of its main support tower. Well, as the investigation into that bridge collapse continues today, many here on the Sun Coast are wondering what FDOT is doing to make sure that our bridges stay safe here. Marla Spence is live from the Ringling Causeway with details of that. Marla, good morning. Good morning, guys. The devastating bridge collapse in Miami may be having many locally wondering what's being done to ensure bridge safety here on the Sun Coast to bridges like the Ringling right behind me and to ensure that nothing like what happened in Miami happens here on the Sun Coast. We spoke to the Florida Department of Transportation to see what's being done regularly to make sure bridges like the Ringling are safe and secure for drivers. According to FDOT's website, it states the department inspects all public highway bridges in the state through FDOT's bridge maintenance program. That program allows FDOT to inspect and maintain all county and state bridges every two weeks. Coming up at 630, we're going to be telling you what engineers and also bridge developers will be planning to do in the coming weeks to also make sure local and state bridges are safe for drivers. Reporting live in Sarasota, Marla Spence for ABC 7, your Suncoast News.
All right. Thank you so much, Marla. She's been live from the Ringling Causeway so much this morning. Now, for the latest on this story, plus your breaking news and your up-to-the-minute first alert forecast and traffic, just head over to our app. You can find it online under WWSB or my Sun Coast. Well, this story might sound hard to believe. The Manatee County School District is trying to fire a bus driver who's been convicted of soliciting a prostitute. 50-year-old Jerome Heaven was arrested in an undercover operation conducted by Bradenton Police last year. He was convicted in February. A month later, he is still employed by the district. The district says Heaven hasn't been around students since he was convicted. Instead, he's washing dishes and doing desk work at the district support center. School officials say they tried to fire him, but the State Division of Administrative Hearings overturned their decision, citing the district did not have enough evidence to do so. We have no details on the case. Uh, that's what will be presented to us. Uh, we're not allowed to discuss the case, uh, what it's about, the merits of the case, uh, until we are, are in the role of, in essence, a judiciary. Now, ABC7 spoke with this man, and he did not want to go on camera. He said he's innocent and that the undercover officer approached him, not the other way around. He has been convicted, though. The school board will hear both sides of the case during a special meeting tomorrow. Since 2005, the number of babies born addicted to drugs has increased every single year here in Florida. But according to the Central Florida Behavioral Network, an opioid bill recently signed by Governor Scott is a step in the right direction. More than $27 million will go to the Department of Children and Families. The organization provides substance abuse services on the Sun Coast, and they've received more than $920,000 in funding this year alone. It's an effort to fight the epidemic in both Sarasota and Manatee counties. Also in Florida, a proposal to limit school board members' terms to eight years is moving forward. The proposed constitutional amendment was favored by most members of the Constitution Revision Commission, but there was, there was still some disagreement. I'm looking forward to the new crop of individuals that are come that are going to walk through those doors in November and bring fresh ideas and new and new perspective. And I think it's a very important thing for, for our political process. We shouldn't have term limits because if you mess up, they will get you out. They will limit your term. We don't need to do it. We need to let the people do it. Now, if this is approved, the voters will decide on the November ballot. Florida citrus farmers are still waiting for more than $2 billion from the federal government. President Trump signed the disaster relief package back in February. But in the meantime, they'll have to rely on state funds approved by Governor Scott earlier this month to get their crops back in shape. All right, some cute news this morning to show you. Say hello to Patty. Now, Patty was born the day before St. Patrick's Day at Bush Gardens in Tampa. Look at this little girl. She is five feet tall and weighs 105 pounds. That seems like a giant newborn. I feel sorry for the mama. She is the third giraffe born at the park in the last four months. You're going to be able to see her and her mama very soon if you head up to Bush Gardens. I love those uh, the skin pattern. I know, they're so beautiful. So I love giraffes there, yeah. too. Still had latest on first alert traffic and isolated mumps outbreaks are popping up across the country. Just how high of a concern is it here in our state? We'll have that answer for you when we get back. Also popping up a live shot from Selby Gardens. A beautiful morning there over on Mound along the Sarasota Bayfront. Nice iconic place in the area. John, John Scalzi has been there, I bet, many times. Many times, yes. Remember, actually, we're looking at uh, some uh, very pleasant conditions across the Sun Coast in terms of red tide as well. It looks like a northerly wind flow has pushed a lot of that issue down to the south in uh, Charlotte County and then down into Lee County. Uh, the midweek report from the uh, red tide status is that, uh, well, we're not looking at a whole lot of problems across our area beaches currently. So good news there. Full report comes out on Friday. We are looking at a satellite view that shows a lot of blue sky as we head into the morning and sunshine as well. Talk about the forecast in a minute. Supan, part of the U.S. Paralympic rugby team. In my game, movement is everything. I get frustrated when my move is blocked, especially when that guy has no right to be there, even just for a minute. I love a challenge, but I don't like to play this game every day. A message from the United Spinal Association. It's time to take a road trip. Alabama's got a hundred road trips, and some of the best are music to your ears. 
like the Alabama Music Hall of Fame, or head over to Muscle Shoals and Fame Studios. Are you a star yet? My mama thinks so. Or if that's your stomach I hear grumbling, our barbecue is almost a religious experience. Food good here? Best in the country. Alabama's got a hundred road trips. Which one you gonna take? Want to know a secret? If you're looking for the best selection of area rugs at an unbelievable price, the only place you need to look is Rugs is Art. I know what you're thinking. Expensive, right? Wrong. Rugs is Art has the largest selection of area rugs on the west coast of Florida in a variety of styles with 8 by 11 area rugs starting at $199. Largest selection, personalized service, and unbelievably low prices. You'll find it all at Rugs is Art. Rugs as Art, Sarasota's only area rug superstore. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. To be able to just get my son here and not think about how we will pay for it, it just takes so much weight off of my family. St. Jude allowed me to focus on being a mom to Bryce. And sometimes I'm just in awe of the impact St. Jude has, not only on this community, but the world. I just need a second. Is your weight holding you back and affecting your health? Did you see this? Hmm? Your cousin had a heart attack. Really? Excess weight or obesity can be serious, but you can do something about it. Visit yourweightmatters.org. Download the free toolkit to prepare you to speak with a healthcare provider. Your weight does matter. Accept the challenge and take charge today. Visit yourweightmatters.org. Get breaking news alerts focused on the Sun Coast. Download the ABC7 News app. First alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. A cool, crisp morning shaping up for us, and we've got one more of those in store. In fact, probably the coldest night of the week coming up tonight, but then a big warm up in store. 55 degree the air temperature currently. We have a dew point value coming in at 41. East wind northeast wind coming in at about eight a little bit lighter than it was 24 hours ago so i think that's going to make things feel a little bit more comfortable today despite the fact that the air temperature itself will probably be a degree or two cooler than it was yesterday but because the winds are going to be lighter it'll feel better i think we're looking at a lot of sunshine around today currently at 51 degrees in Mayaka, arcadia 50 in wachula 51 parish bradenton at 52 55 in sarasota 57 in venice 58 in inglewood 58 longbow key some pockets in the 40s 47 degrees says al in uh, northport and becky and old Mayaka phoned in 42 degrees there so that's really chilly she'll probably be in the upper 30s tomorrow morning i bet you 59 degrees by around 9 a.m this morning after the sun comes up starts heating things up just a little bit 63 degrees by 12 noon 66 by 3 and then by 7 p.m we'll be looking at a 60 degree temperature i think this evening our temperatures will probably fall off a little more quickly because the wind speeds are going to be a little bit lighter and so consequently that cold air will kind of pool at the surface. Taking a look at the future cast, put it into motion. North wind is going to be fairly consistent today. Lots of sunshine as we head into the noontime hour and temperatures really struggle to make it up into the mid 60s. We'll top it out probably in the mid to upper 60s today. And then as we head into the evening period, temperatures drop into the 50s. Winds out of the north and uh, kind of breezy as well, but not as windy as it was yesterday. Yesterday. So we'll just go with breezy and then overnight tonight. I think we'll see those temperatures falling in many places into the 40s. So a chilly night, but then the warm up starts 
And so as we start to see the, uh, the, the weather pattern change just a little bit, we'll get locked into a new weather pattern that will cause us to warm nicely, I think, by the weekend into the near 80 degree range. And next week, solidly into the 80s for the entire week. So some beautiful weather coming our way just in time for our uh, spring breakers out there. Uh, Titan radar not showing any rain falling across the region. We're not going to see any today. That nor'easter continues to drift off to the north and to the east, bringing snow showers now, especially to areas from uh, down in down east Maine. Boston getting some pretty good snowfall accumulations, I think. Nantucket as well. As that low moves off to the north and to the east, high pressure will be allowed to build in across the region. And in fact, as the high moves away, our pressure gradient across the state has relaxed just a little bit, and so our, our wind speeds are decreasing. As that high moves into the Atlantic over the weekend, our winds shift east. That's a warm-up wind for us, and that's why we'll be back into the 80s before you know it. Sunny skies, rain-free, and then that weekend warm-up. Forecast looking like this for boaters again today. We're going to start off the morning with a small craft advisory, probably an exercise caution statement thereafter. And there's still a risk of rip currents in our area waters. Uh, 10 to 15 knot winds throughout the day, maybe a little bit of a surge during the late evening or early night before things settle down again toward morning. 66 our temperature today, 72 tomorrow, a chilly night in store. Then we start to warm our nights and our days till we get to Sunday when we're near the 80 degree mark. And as we head into next week, we're solidly in the 80s. Back to you. All right, thanks, John. Let's take a look outside your first alert traffic out there this morning. Those roads are looking pretty decent. Start to see some buildups right along those bridges that we normally see if you're heading into the downtown Bradenton area or outside of that area, especially around State Road 70 and 301. Always congested around that area about this time of the morning. Farther south in the county in Sarasota County, starting to see some, some traffic there as you're heading out to the Longboat Key area, starting to see some congestion in that area. We're not sure what that is this morning. Maybe a little construction as well as some slowdowns right there on Fruitville as well. If you're heading a little farther south in the area, those roads aren't looking too bad around this time of the hour. It's a little slow down that we normally see around the Venice area on 41. But other than that, nothing too much to see out there at 617 with your first alert traffic. In today's Health Smart, you don't hear much about mumps these days, but there was an issue recently in Texas. More than 25,000 participants and coaches at a cheerleading competition were warned they might have been exposed to the highly contagious virus after one competitor came down with it. Currently, it's recommended that kids get two doses, the first at 12 to 15 months, again, one before grade school. Researchers have found that a person on average is protected by the mumps vaccine for 27 years, and then it wears off. Well, a bizarre new trend is now popping up in parts of the country. First, the Tide Pods, and now this. Now, this one is happening in areas where drug overdoses are on the rise. Firefighters in Mississippi, Tennessee, Indiana, they're responding to more calls these days about bug spray highs. Now to get high, users are putting this heavy duty bug spray on paper. They're rolling it up and then trying to smoke it. It's becoming more popular due to the readily available supply. And it's one of the many synthetic drugs that can't actually be detected on a standard drug test. Should I say what next or is that too I old? mean, seriously, as a parent, <laughs> you're like, what next? Like from the Tide Pods to bug spray. <laughs> It is a scary world. I'm keeping my kids at home. I'm locking them in my house from this day forward and also taking away the bug spray and the Tide Pods. <laughs> Safe idea. My God. Still ahead on Good Morning Sun Coast. Just how often should you be checking your credit report? Well, we've got the scoop for Credit Education Month. Plus, Marla? As the investigation continues and the Miami Bridge collapse, what Florida Department of Transportation officials are doing to make sure bridges like the Ringling are safe and secure for Suncoast drivers and residents. We have a live report straight ahead at 630. All right, talk to you soon. Marla, as a look outside our studio, pretty quiet out there right now. 59 degrees, should see a high of 66, plenty of sunshine again today. Orioles hosting the Red Sox in a big game at Ed Smith Stadium as the spring training season winds down. You're watching Good Morning Suncoast on ABC7. My name is Stefan Campagna. We're Ben Gates and Dramus, and here is your Law Tip of the Week. If you've been injured in a car accident, the state of Florida only gives you a specific amount of time to file a claim. So act now, give us a call. I just had a very educational ride with Nina. Did you learn anything? Where do I begin? So all this stuff goes into a safety check. Yep. It's a long list. It's important stuff. Test the smoke detector. Yep. Check the breaker box. Yep. Meter the GFCIs. Ground fault circuit interrupters. 
Why do that? <laughs> Call 888 Sparky. Minnie, you make it look easy. Thanks, but don't do it yourself. Who's your guy? Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it. Hmm, maybe you can make retirement happen. After all, you made her college years happen. Watcha. Opening that education savings account when she was little. Spearheading a campus tour. And another, and another, and another, and another. Bam! Deciphering financial aid. She was like, what? And now she's like, yeah! you waste planning for college. Now get the tips you need to get on track at aceyourretirement.org. Soldiers in the Army National Guard serve to give back to their country and communities. Their part-time commitment qualifies them for an array of benefits, such as affordable health and life insurance benefits, education benefits, including tuition assistance, student loan repayment, and GI Bill programs, a retirement plan based on part-time service, and VA home mortgages. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more about all the benefits available in the Army National Guard. There's a lot of fear in coming back to school. I'm a 40-year-old man that walked in there to get his high school diploma. It was very hard for me, but one of the teachers was Miss Araceli. She gave me direction. Every single time I had a question, she'll put down whatever she's doing and she'll sit there with you until you get it. 50% of getting your high school diploma is walking through those doors. The other 50% is doing the work. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Every week on Animal Outtakes, it's a new animal adventure. We're visiting the Wildlife Center of Venice. When a wild animal is in need of help, this group of volunteers comes to the rescue. Join us this week on ABC7. Here's a live picture of Manhattan at 622. <laughs> we showed the shot earlier, and you're right. It really does look like Christmas right there. Yeah, not Easter at all. <laughs> we jumped in the time machine this morning. And there goes the same pedestrian again. Yes. Walking around the block. But that's oh. how it looks there. Not quite the same thing here, fortunately, and that's why we are here, living here <laughs> or vacationing here. That is right. Let us know where it's heading back there later on this month, though. That's true. New this morning, your chance for a goodbye. Starting today, Toys R Us is starting liquidation sales. The going out of business sales will include massive discounts. The New Jersey-based company is trying to get rid of its inventory by June. The toy retailer announced earlier this month that it plans to close all its 700 stores. That includes the store on Cortez Road West here in Bradenton. Well, it is Credit Education Month, which is a good time to check your credit report and make sure that everything is accurate. So how often should you check it? Whether it's buying that dream truck, renting a new apartment, or scoring that new job, all of those can come down to one thing, your credit score. So just how often should you check your credit report to make sure it's up to date and accurate? At the bare minimum, once a year. You can go to annualcreditreport.com and get your free one each and every year. But I recommend checking it once a month. This way you can catch any, uh, any glitches happening in your credit if you miss the payment. Maybe you can catch it early enough to limit the damage it does. Or if there's a fraud on your account, you can catch it before it hurts your credit. These days, yes, there are apps for that too. Popular ones like Credit Karma and Credit Sesame. Now you can sign up for notifications to see if something on your credit report changes. Some will even offer tips on how to improve your score. They even have credit, credit score predictors. It'll say, okay, if you pay all your bills for this many months, pay off this loan, you, your score could increase this much. That way you can plan out if you're maybe shopping for a house. You can plan out how to get your score as high as possible as quickly as possible. All those apps mentioned you can find on mysuncoast.com. There's our respective Facebook pages. I put a picture up yesterday. They got 55,000 views. Well, I, I, let me guess which one it was. Giant cruise ship. 
under the Skyway Bridge. Correct. All right. <laughs> yes, it is. Took I it. love that picture. Oh, it's amazing. You it's have to see this. Boggles the mind. Pick it my page. It's Ray Collins, ABC 7. You'll see that picture that we're referring to right now. All right. New this morning. Is it a confession in the Austin serial bombing case? Investigators say the suspect left a 25-minute recording on his cell phone detailing his plot. ABC's Matt Gutman has the chilling details. In this morning's GMA first look, in the 19 days he allegedly terrorized Austin, Mark Anthony Condit was a mystery. But this morning, according to police, there's some clarity thanks to a 25-minute video recording they say he left behind. It was a confession because he was, and I even called it as such, that he was admitting to what he had done. Police say the tell-all even reveals how he made those seven explosive devices. We're going to be attempting to move people away from the building. And it offers a window into why he did this. But instead, it is the outcry of a very uh, challenged young man talking about challenges in his personal life that led him to this point. And despite his disguise, police say they had identified Condit as the man seen wearing a wig in this FedEx store surveillance video. And we'll have more on the suspect's background coming up at 7 a.m. With your GMA First Look, I'm Diane Macedo, ABC News, New York. Why did I want a Crest 3D White Smile? Dinner date. Meeting his parents' dinner date. So I used Crest. Crest 3D White removes 95% of surface stains in just three days for a whiter smile that will win them over. Crest, healthy, beautiful smiles for life. Did you know pain is caused by aggravated nerves? Asper Cream with Lidocaine is revolutionary relief. In just minutes, it desensitizes your aggravated nerves to block pain with no odor or irritation. Asper Cream with Lidocaine. Relieve the nerves, stop the pain. Easter is our favorite time of year. We get dressed up. We go to church. <laughs> Where do we get our clothes? Burlington! We get quality name brand clothes at Burlington's low prices. Wow. Happy Easter! I had frequent heartburn, but my doctor recommended Prilosec OTC seven years ago. Five years ago. Last week. Just one pill each morning, 24 hours, and zero heartburn. It's been the number one doctor recommended brand for 10 straight years, and it's still recommended today. Use as directed. Get to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota for big savings during the spring sales event. Take a test drive and see why Jeep Grand Cherokee is the most awarded SUV of all time. Or for impressive off-road performance with a little bit of Suncoast style, shop the area's largest selection of new 2018 Jeep Wranglers. Stop by today and drive away in a new Jeep Cherokee for just $19,999. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Soldiers in the Army National Guard live up to a set of time-honored principles. I will always finish first. They stand ready to respond to any crisis. I will never accept defeat. They serve in their communities as citizens and as soldiers. I will never quit. They train part-time to be ready to serve at all times. I will never leave a fallen comrade. Learn more at nationalguard.com. Okay, so what would you bring to my company? What do you need? I need problem-solving skills. I got through high school without a car, a phone, or a computer. No college degree, though. Not yet, but life's taught me a lot, and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire. But you are exactly what I'm looking for. Your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find a great pool of untapped talent at gradsoflife.org. I'll be right back. Hi. You think you're probably sober? Yeah. But you're thinking about taking the back roads home, just in case. If you're probably sober, then why would you do that? Good choice. Probably OK isn't OK. If you see a warning sign, stop and call a cab, a car, or a friend. That's a full glass of wine. I'll be chatting you later. OK, so we drowned the fire, yep. stirred it, mm -hmm. drowned it again, mm -hmm. and now just feel if it's cold. Yeah. Cool. Smokey just gave me a bear hug. I know. I already posted it.
You are the best protection she has. Buddy up. I'm Jill Harrington. Please visit HelpSaveTheNextGirl.com and get involved. ABC7, the Suncoast's official Florida lottery station. It is the outcry of a very uh, challenged young man talking about challenges in his personal life that led him to this point. Coming up on Good Morning Suncoast, a possible confession in the case? Police are coming through messages left by the accused Austin serial bomber as they learn more about his past. Following the Miami Bridge collapse, what are FDOT officials, uh, bridge representatives, and also bridge developers, what are they doing to ensure the safety of bridges like the Ringling? I'm telling you straight ahead, your Suncoast News starts now. You are watching Good Morning Suncoast at 630. Good morning to you on this Thursday morning, March 22nd. Thanks for waking up and joining us on Good Morning Sun Coast. I'm Stephanie Webb. And I'm Ray Collins. The forecast is with John Scalzi. John, what, 59 degrees out there right now, huh? Yeah, colder in other places, yeah. too. Yeah, it's a chilly start to the morning, but it's not the coldest night we'll see. Tonight will be the coldest night, I think. As a warm-up starts to, to, to form later on this afternoon, we'll feel its effects beginning tomorrow. Uh, Cooper in Central Sarasota, our youngest weather watcher, coming in with 55 degrees, but... Becky and Omayaka coming in with our coldest temperature at 42. Around the region, 50 in Arcadia. Mayaka City at 50. Wachula at 49. Sarasota, 55. Venice, 56. And in Bradenton, you've got 51 degrees. So, rain-free skies, very dry air in place, and a wind out of the north, kind of breezy, but not as brisk as it was 24 hours ago. In fact, the wind speeds are about half what they were yesterday. So, it'll feel, I think, a little more comfortable, despite the fact that the air temperature this afternoon will be a slight bit chillier, coming in at around 66, while yesterday we had 68. Tonight, however, as the winds continue to subside toward dawn tomorrow morning, we'll find our temperatures dropping even cooler than they are this morning. We'll talk about how cold it's going to get and what to expect coming up in just a few. All right, talk to you soon. Thank you, John. Checking fresh alert traffic right now. A little build up there from the bridges, uh, the uh, DeSoto Bridge, as you head from Palmetto to downtown Bradenton. Some congestion there already this morning. Otherwise, pretty clear in Manatee County. You'll see there on University Parkway in the eastbound lane around a Tuttle or Lock Ridge. Some congestion there. Also, the Ringling Causeway showing some early buildup right there. Might be Marla Spence's live shot. I think that's what it is. Slowing it's some cars. Crowd. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Drawing a crowd, as she usually does. And farther south, all clear at 632 on this Thursday morning. Well, this morning, Sarasota police are asking for help in finding a man who they say robbed one hotel and tried to rob a second. The two hotels are on the North Trail in Sarasota. Look at these uh, pictures and surveillance video. It shows him uh, walking into the Quality Inn just after midnight. He's there at the counter uh, early Wednesday morning. Police say they also have him on video. There he is walking into the Days Inn just up the road for an attempted robbery there. We absolutely want to get a suspect like this off the street. He implied that he had a firearm and used fear for these two clerks. We're just thankful that neither of the clerks were injured, um, but he did commit a crime, and so we're hoping to get him off the street as soon as possible. The man's described as a thin white man in his late 50s, 5 foot 8, blue eyes, light color hair. If you happen to recognize him, please call the Sarasota Police. Well, new this morning, investigators are taking a closer look at new video and images from the moment that bridge collapsed in Miami. Investigators are looking into cracks found just days before that bridge came down last week. Also this morning, investigators confirmed that workers were adjusting tension on two rods that were located on the north end of that span when it failed and collapsed. Now, the constru construction of the bridge was behind schedule. Millions of dollars over budget as well, in part because of a key change in the design of its main support tower. Mm. Now, as that investigation continues, some are asking, what is FDOT doing here to make sure that all of our bridges are safe on the Sun Coast? Details on that from Marla Spence, who is live right now at the Ringling Causeway. Marla, good morning. Good morning, guys. The Florida Department of Transportation tells me that they send their inspectors out to state and county bridges like the Ringling right behind me. And they say they send them out very often. Now I'm told that the department inspects all public highway bridges in the state every two weeks through FDOT's bridge maintenance program as FDOT does what it can to make certain that bridges locally and statewide 
uh, statewide bridges are safe. Bridge professionals are planning to come together in Orlando in just a few weeks. They'll be learning more on bridge preservation through the 2018 National Bridge Preservation Partnership Conference, and that's where improvements in research, materials, bridge design, and also bridge specifications will all be discussed from April 8th through the 12th. Reporting live at the Ringling Causeway, I'm Marla Spence for ABC7, your Suncoast News. Marla, thank you. More on this story and the forecast and traffic at our app. You can find it under WWSB or under My Suncoast. Well, new evidence this morning in the Austin serial bombings case. Now, police say the bomber left behind a confession tape. But as ABC's Kenneth Gibson tells us, there are still plenty of unanswered questions surrounding that bombing spree. This morning, an apparent confession in the Austin serial bombings. Investigators say Mark Condit left a 25-minute recording on his phone detailing his plot. On this recording, the suspect describes the six bombs that he constructed with a level of specificity that he identified the differences among those six bombs. In the recording, police say Condit does not mention terrorism or hate or why he chose the victims he did. It is the outcry of a very uh, challenged young man talking about challenges in his personal life that led him to this point. Condit was able to elude authorities for weeks after allegedly triggering a bombing spree that killed two people and wounded at least five. It all ended when police say Condit set off a bomb in his SUV as the SWAT team moved in. The suspect detonated a bomb inside the vehicle, knocking one of our SWAT officers back, and one of our SWAT officers fired at the suspect as well. Condit's pink gloves seen in this surveillance image at the FedEx store are one of the trademarks that led police right to him. Investigators reportedly discovering those distinct gloves were available at a nearby Home Depot. And surveillance video from that store appeared to show the suspect and his license plate. Investigators also matched the images with receipts, saying he used the alias Kelly Kilmore to send packages. While the suspected bomber changed his tactics from mailing bombs to tripwire, the ATF says he did have a signature. So you actually had ATF technicians piece together physically these bombs after they exploded? Yes, after the second one, um, right. we knew exactly what the first two looked like. Until now, Condit was not known to the authorities. The only thing on his record, a traffic violation. In a statement, his family saying they're devastated and saying we had no idea of the darkness that Mark must have been in. Candace Gibson, ABC News, New York. Happening right now, police in Bradenton are having their morning roll call out in the community. They're in a vacant parking lot on 15th Street West. They'll return again this afternoon, and you are invited to stop by and talk to officers directly about any issues you might be having in your neighborhood in the city of Bradenton. Well, a new study shows just how high the cost of living is here on the Sun Coast. Now, it says it costs a Sarasota family just over $80,000 a year to simply live modestly. But the average salary yearly on the Sun Coast is only half of that. Don Hatzel with the Office of Community Housing and Community Development says that affordable housing is a huge concern here in Sarasota County as well as a big need. Stats show that nearly 40% of renters in this community pay more than 30% of their annual income just in rent. Now he blames the problem on the state of Florida, saying that lawmakers earmarked about $3.7 million for Sarasota housing issues, yet gave us less than $700,000. Both the city and the county are in the process of putting together some strategic idea initiatives that will help to address the, the issue. Um, we have an advisory committee that the city and the county have established that will be meeting again shortly. All right, and that committee will be looking for alternative solutions starting in April. Nate's Honor Animal Rescue is telling us more now about their plans for an $8 million expansion in Lakewood Ranch. That expansion will allow the animal shelter to take in about 50% more dogs and 25% more cats, which works out to be about 4,000 more animals a year. The shelter has already raised $2 million, which they plan to raise $3 million more, and an anonymous donor will then match that money raised. It's gut-wrenching when you go to a kill shelter and have to walk away and leave an animal there because you don't have the space. So now we'll have the space. 
A shelter helped nearly 1,900 animals last year find their forever homes. Well, the Sarasota Film Festival is unveiling its 2018 lineup. Eric Stoltz's comedy Class Rank is going to be the opening night film that screens April 13th at the Sarasota Opera House. Rory Kennedy's Above and Beyond, NASA's Journey to Tomorrow. That's going to be the closing night movie on April 21st. The festival will also honor Steve Gutenberg. You remember him from those Police Academy yes. movies, as well as actress Virginia Madsen with Career Achievements Awards. Now, Gutenberg is going to be honored for starring in more than 60 films in his career. Madsen will also be honored for her Oscar-nominated role in Alexander Payne's Sideways. The Sarasota Film Festival is going to be running from April the 13th through April the 22nd. I've covered that now for 15 years. Place. My top three interviews. Yes. Number three, Christopher Plummer. Okay. Number two, Gina Davis. Okay. Number one, William Macy. William, oh, I love William H. Macy. Me too. Me too. I love that man so much. They do have that great lineup every year, and they really pull, pull in some big names. My favorite movie ever, William Macy. It's a quiet movie called Door to Door, the Bill Porter story. It's a true story about a traveling salesman with some physical challenges and becomes the top salesman of the company. That is pretty good. Mine is Goodfellas. Boy, we live different worlds. Oh, that tells you a lot right <laughs> it says there. everything it? you need to know about mm -hmm. us right there. Yes. All right, still ahead on Good Morning Sun Coast, the latest in your first alert weather and traffic and. Students at Stoneman Douglas High School will see state troopers on campus this morning. Details of even more security coming up next. All right, this is a live look this morning at Selby Botanical Gardens. Ray, did you know that you can do yoga in the gardens? I didn't. It's coming up this Monday. You can do that. Yeah. And that's exactly what John Scalzi might be doing. How's the weather looking out there? No downward dog <laughs> here. <laughs> I promise you that. We're looking at, uh, some, although it's very good for you, so it would be a lovely place to do yoga. We're looking at uh, some quiet conditions across the Sun Coast. Nothing here highlighted in terms of a problem for your morning commute, except it's a little cool out there. Heaters will be on in your car with upper 50s. we we'll ride home will be in the lower 60s. We'll be looking at uh, a 10 out of 10 chance of outside recess. Talk about the forecast in a minute. Car experts and customers agree there's a lot to love about a new Subaru. Subaru is Kelly Blue Book's 2017 most trusted brand, best overall brand, and lowest five-year cost to own. And Subaru Forester is an IIHS top safety pick for 12 years running. Now, lease the most award-winning small SUV, a new Subaru Forester for just $219 a month. Or get 0% financing with zero down during the Subaru A Lot to Love event. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. This is an important announcement. If you're between 50 and 85 and worried about your loved ones, you can still get affordable life insurance for peace of mind. My life insurance coverage is guaranteed, and I was not required to get a medical exam. I had high blood pressure and diabetes, and I got my coverage with one telephone call. No exam necessary. I'm a smoker, and I wanted to take care of my family. I called to get my life insurance and my affairs in order. I wanted to do the right thing. Call Final Expense No Exam Insurance. Your rates are guaranteed and will never increase. I called and learned that this insurance cannot be canceled, even if you get sick or gain weight. And there are no restrictions on how my beneficiaries use the money when I'm gone. Approval was easy, and the price was right. I wanted to do this for my children. Call 800-738-9812. 800-738-9812. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Each day, researchers make discoveries that bring us closer to the moment when all cancer patients can become survivors. Their progress is made possible with the help of clinical trials. Clinical trials are the brightest torch researchers have to light their way towards better treatments. And if you've been diagnosed with cancer, they may be your brightest ray of hope. Speak with your doctor and visit standuptocancer.org slash clinical trials to learn more. Together, we can stand up for all of us. Everyone's buzzing about Suncoast View. I like watching the Suncoast View. I like the Suncoast View. The cooking segments. I love the recipes. The theater segments are terrific. They're just fun. For smart, fun talk in the afternoon, watch Suncoast View. Weekdays at 4 on ABC7.
Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. 55 degree air temperature, dew point 41. That 41 degree dew point is kind of important because as the winds begin to subside, as they already are now northeast at 8, we'll watch the temperatures fall off tonight. And it'll be a cooler night tonight than it is this morning. But then tomorrow, we'll start to warm and we'll get into temperatures that'll be significantly warmer by afternoon. So, cool start, warm afternoon, and the warming trend continuing right straight into the seven days ahead. So, Today, you know, it's going to be kind of chilly, no doubt about that. We start off at 55, as I mentioned, but the winds are a little lighter. So even though our temperature today only tops out about 10 degrees above where we are right now, I think it'll feel a little more comfortable than it did yesterday, just because those wind speeds are going to be half of what they were yesterday or thereabouts. So we'll look for 49 degrees in Wachula, 50 degrees in Arcadia, 50 in Mayaka. Start the morning off with 51 in Bradenton, 55 in Sarasota, and Venice coming in at 56 Inglewood at 57 so is Longbow Key. By 9 o'clock we'll get up to about 59 degrees as we start to get a little bit of sun baking things. And then as we get into the 3 o'clock hour we'll only get up to about 66 for a high temperature today. Two degrees cooler than yesterday. But as I mentioned with less wind around I think it'll feel more comfortable and some inland temperatures could get up to the 70 degree mark today. Then as we head into the evening, temperatures fall off pretty quickly and we're heading for a kind of a cool night. Here's your hour by hour. Put it through till a noon time today and you'll notice the temperatures uh, getting up to the mid 60s or so by 3 p.m. Probably topping out around 66 and by 5 o'clock this evening back down into the lower 60s. Lots of sunshine right straight through the period. Then as we head into the overnight, then watch out as temperatures begin to fall into the 50s and then further into the 40s. And we bottom it out tonight kind of cool as you wake up tomorrow morning. So we'll look for rain free conditions right straight through today, tomorrow, the day after, day after that, day after that, day after that. Seven days ahead. I don't see any rain in the forecast. It'll be dry and the drought conditions will start to increase as well. So there's still some red flags up for parts of Florida, so it's a good idea just to be careful with uh, open flame for the next several days and certainly check before you want to do any outside burning. Make sure that's OK. We have a low pressure area that moves off to the north and to the east. That's our nor'easter rain and uh, and uh, snow showers starting to end from the mid-Atlantic up to toward New York. Still in progress snow showers in the Boston area that will be winding down later on today. High pressure builds in for us. We get that northerly wind flow a little bit less today as that nor'easter moves away. So we start to see um, that pooling of cool air near the surface tonight, and that really allows for a kind of a chilly temperature. But then that high moves into the Atlantic over the weekend. Our winds shift east, and that's a warm up wind for us. So we enjoy the weekend with temperatures pretty close by Sunday to the 80 degree mark. Sunny skies, rain free skies. It would be a pretty nice day today, I guess, if you don't mind those temperatures. Um, north wind coming in at about 10 to 15, maybe a little bit of a surge for a few hours during the evening and early night, and then kind of subsiding a bit as we head into dawn tomorrow. So the forecast kind of shaping up like this. Today we'll go with about a 66, tomorrow about a 72, and then as we head into the weekend, we'll warm even more till we get close to the 80 mark by Sunday. And then next work week, we are in the 80s and we stay there for next week. Back to you. All right, thanks, John. Let's take a look outside this morning at your first alert traffic. The roads are running mostly smooth, starting to get a little bit busy as it normally does around this hour, especially if you're on the bridges heading into Bradenton. Those areas are pretty uh, congested right now, as well as Fruitville Road 301 and State Road 70. Those roads are pretty starting to get a little congestion out there. For heading into Sarasota County, those roads are showing their typical slowdowns. Fruitville, Bee Ridge, University Parkway, as well as out to Longboat Key. Those roads are a little congested this morning. And heading a little farther south, those roads aren't looking too bad out there. No real hot spots to mention. And even heading farther south, if you're going to Venice or Port Charlotte, Ponte Gorda area, any of those spots, the roads are looking pretty good out there as of 648 this morning with your first alert traffic. Happening today in Broward County, students at Stoneman Douglas High School will be greeted this morning by eight state troopers on the campus. Governor Scott ordered the troopers to assist sheriff deputies. Kids will now go to school with an armed guard at every campus entry there. This comes in the wake of some recent security issues since last month's shooting where 17 were killed. Also, new requirements for students there, get this, they have to use clear backpacks, which the district will provide. 
Well, new details in the Pulse nightclub trial, according to evidence presented to the jury. The man who shot and killed 49 people may have exchanged text messages with his wife during the attack. Prosecutors are trying to prove that Noor Solomon had knowledge of her husband Omar Mateen's plans. Her attorneys argue that her husband kept secrets from her. Now, Solomon is on trial for aiding and abetting and obstruction of justice. Now, if she is convicted, she could be facing up to life in prison. 649 right now. Up next, today's top seven headlines. That is right, including your first alert weather and traffic as you get ready for your day. But first, a peek outside our window at the traffic picking up there in the Rosemary District. Some cars coming down uh, 10th and Lemon. We'll have John's complete forecast and also the top seven before seven next on Good Morning Sun Coast. Motor Trend said the new Alfa Romeo Giulia is hands down the best sports sedan you can buy today. And named it the 2018 Motor Trend Car of the Year. Rediscover your passion for driving at Sunset Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. So Matt told me to meet him at 7 a.m. sharp right here. It is now 7.01 a.m. You think Matt would leave without me? Hey, is Matt here? Uh, long con. Long con. Just missed him. Just missed him. All done. Mr. Sparky guarantees they're on time and the repair is free, so chop chop. Call 888 Sparky. Matt, you started without me. I finished without you, too. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. Meet Blue. Blue's not feeling well. The prescription? Generic medication. Blue wonders, do they really work as well as name brands? Yes, generics and name brand medications do work the same. Even though they may look different, generics have the same key ingredients. FDA approval is equally rigorous for generics to make sure they're as safe and effective as name brands. And Blue even saves some green, making him a little less, well, blue. Talk to your doctor about generics and visit FDA.gov slash generic drugs. Imagine a world filled with pillow fights, playgrounds, and the search for the perfect climbing tree. Every kid deserves that world. But one in five kids in America struggle with hunger. At No Kid Hungry, we're committed to creating a world where every kid eats healthy food every day. We raise funds, we help families, and we lift up communities. Don't allow your weight to threaten your health or control your future. Excess weight or obesity can cause emotional and physical health risks, but you can take control. The Your Weight Matters campaign offers free resources and tips to help you measure and understand your weight. Take the Your Weight Matters Challenge. The free toolkit prepares you to speak with a healthcare provider about your weight. Your weight does matter. Take the challenge and take control today. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blog, step-by-step -step videos, and Suncoast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySuncoast.com slash dining. Download the all-new ABC7 First Alert weather app now. When evaluating the Alfa Romeo Stelvio, Car and Driver Magazine said every crossover should be this good to drive. We agree. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Well, welcome back. ABC7 wants to make sure that you are all ready for your day. Here are the top seven things you need to know. First off, John Scalzi's first alert forecast. So we're looking at uh, some pretty nice conditions, but cool conditions today. The winds will be a little bit less, but it certainly will be cool. The wind speeds will be about half what they were yesterday, so even though our air temperature is maybe two degrees cooler, it'll feel more comfortable. Then we'll watch for that warm up to begin tomorrow, and it'll go straight through the weekend with temperatures by Sunday close to the 80 degree mark. Those are your takeaways. All right, number two, first alert, traffic checking clear right now. Here's the scene in Manatee County. Otherwise, all clear. Roads are dry. Here's Marla along the Ringling Causeway. 
Following the Miami Bridge collapse, what are Florida Department of Transportation employees doing to ensure the safety of bridges like the Ringling right behind me? Well, I'm told every two weeks, FDOT send out their employees to inspect the bridge. And we're also told that bridge inspectors and also uh, professionals will be meeting in Orlando April 8th through the 12th to discuss safety measures for state and local bridges. Number four now, new evidence in this morning, the Austin serial bombing case. Police say the bomber, or a suspected bomber, left behind a confession tape. The 23-year-old took his own life as police closed in. He was suspected of killing two people in a string of package bombings over the past three weeks. Number five, your chance for a good buy starting today. Toys R Us is starting those liquidation sales. They're closing all 700 stores, and that includes the one on Cortez Road West in Bradenton. Number six, at this hour, police in Bradenton are having their morning roll call in the community. A squad meeting is being held in a parking lot on 15th Street East. They'll be back this afternoon as well. And number seven, what's trending today? To say that there is a lot of excitement for Marvel's new Avengers Infinity War movie out in just 42 days and 17 hours would be <laughs> an understatement. It is now the best advanced selling superhero movie of all time, completely sold out in theaters for the entire weekend run in just six hours on wow. Fandango. Wow. Six hours, folks. It is predicted to be Marvel's biggest superhero movie ever. It's like the one that all of us Marvel junkies have been waiting for, all the superheroes. I'm not looking at you, are all in this movie. He doesn't watch any of it. So I think it is so cool now that you can buy your tickets in advance. You can pick the seat you want to sit you in. Can. I mean, that's a whole new renaissance I love in that. movies. Yes. Yeah. Superheroes. What? No, no, no. <laughs> Here's a live shot right now from Selby Gardens. Pretty uh, start of the day out there. They've got a. Uh, a number of activities on their schedule. You're watching Good Morning Suncoast and ABC7. All right, stick around. The superheroes of Good Morning America are up next.